Mm. Excuse me. So yeah, we are coming to um continue where we left off. So we we want to build our controllers now. So we're gonna build our user controller. Even though we are not we are not going to be building a lot of users, it's just me. I'll just be the only user who's going to be posting to my own personal blog. So I need to be a user to post, you know. So maybe in the future we are going to create many users, all right? So this is our app. You can see I've maximized my screen size, okay? So you can see my screen size is now very huge. So we are going to build a user controller. Okay? So this is a user model here. So we can just close everything. This is our users migration. This is the table. So I've been learning Node.js, okay? So maybe in somehow in the future, I'll rebuild this whole thing in Node.js because I like it. I'm more comfortable with Node.js. So let's build a, a what do you call it? A controller, a, a user controller. So PHP artisan make controller. Then the name of the controller will come here. So usually it's user controller. But I want to put it in the folder. So um, I'll do user slash user controller like this. And I want to make it a resource controller. So add a R. So resource controller actually um, as the JSON, like makes an API kind of controller, something like that. So I've created my controller. So you can see it here, user, then we have it. So these are controllers. I'm going to close so you can see very clear. So these are controllers. So once our controller is set, we need to set um, what we call our route. Okay, so we don't forget. So we we'll come to route API. So you can see we come here. So this is like a default um, thing that Lava creates. So we're going to do. It. So I'm just going to copy it. No, no, I'm not going to waste time. So we'll just copy the users route. So there we have it. So we have the route. It's a resource route. So you add a resource, and then it's called users. So anytime you go to the URL slash users. Are going to get it's going to fetch this file and it's going to run anything that is there so we want all of the functions except create and edit so when we are not using create and edit okay so when we come in here because create is the same as um, um create is the same as what well, where, is the user controller so we come here user so this is a user controller all right so show is showing a single a single user and edit we don't need edit because edit is the same as update. All right, so we have update, so we don't need edit. And create, create is the same as store. So we're going to take away create. So we copy it up to this point. So we don't have it now. So we have the index. So this one will just show all um all the users, okay? And then this one will save a user, and this will show a single user, and then this will update a user and now this will delete a user so we have it now so we can save it so once you save it you can run um something something about php artisan route list i guess good so we have the route list uh this thing i show okay good so when you go to users you can see when you go to api the url is a slash so you go to url slash users are going to get it's going to give us the users.index it's going to call the index model and then it's going to call the index class so this is an index class here so we are going to write what it should do or what it should return all right so that is it here so yeah so our model is set so under users is going to, if you call if you use a post and then you call users and you it, it will go to store once this post is going to score um Call the store class, okay. This one, and then once it's like um, get a single user, it's going to use this. You pass in the user ID here, it's going to show, um, it's going to call the show for a single one. So, I, I, um, I believe you get it. All right, so we start building um, our stuff. So, in here, they're going to just show all the users. So, first of all, um, create a variable called user just to store all the users, and just it's pretty simple in Laravel, just. Add an all function, all right. So this is all, and then you come and just return just like JavaScript. 
what are you returning? So you're going to return a, an, um, an array. You're going to return an array, okay? So an array is going to, you're going to say, um, put them in a function. I said, um, a variable, sorry. So users, and it's going to return the users like this. So you, some post specify JSON, but you don't have to do it because Lava does it um, automatic, I guess. So I think we need to import this, right? Something like that. So we are using the user class here. So we need to come in here and say use user app, app user, sorry. App backslash user. Yeah, I think that is also we save it. So let's save it. And let's see if um we can get so PHP access on serve. So you run on local host. And so um, open postman. So our server is running on port eight thousand, right? So I have a lot of things going on here. So um I have a lot of things on on local um I've done a lot of I have a node API here so I can just use this this is this is also um I'll just rename it rename so let's just right so we go to user so I think you should, you should do some research on how to use postman but if you don't know if you're not um really vest with postman you can just probably just come to where you have your uh coming all right so you just come to where you have your like said like an address bar then you just copy the http blah 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 address okay then you put eight thousand and then you know our route is our route is api slash api all right so slash api then slash users so we are going to users this right here this is what we are looking for so slash api slash users okay and then when we fetch this it should get us all the users that we have so you can see we don't have any users in our in our array so we are saying a get request so you send a get request and you send it to this address and then you hit a send we get empty because we don't have anything You've not created any user, so you, you can even name here data if you want. If you put data here, and you come up and you send, you get data. All right, so yeah, so that is that is what it's about. So we don't have any user yet, so we're going to create a user right here. So I'm just going to copy the code and then I'll explain what the code actually does. So store, I have it somewhere on my monitor. So pretty simple. So this is what we have for store. So first of all, we have a rules variable, okay? So rules variable is just what you want to, um when someone is created, like, like, like validations, okay? It's like Node.js validations. So name is required, email is required, the email has to be unique to the user. The password is also required, a minimum of six. So these are like some basic stuff you do. And remember the user has, um. When you go to the user table, you know, um, user model, yeah, user model. You have the name, email, and password, and then we have a number. All right. But when you're creating, when I'm when I'm creating a user, I don't want to, I don't need to enter any number, also, and also I don't want to check for the user type, and I don't want to check for the user um, user number. I just want these three information: name email and then and password so these are the things i want to check for the rest i'll just you can either choose to add a number you can either leave your user type because um on default when the user is created i set the user type to um when you go to the on default user type is a regular user okay so you i've set the user type here and i've set unsigned that means it's you can leave it you can leave it like that all right so and I have uh so I've set the default to regular user. So whether you add it or not, you'll be a regular user. All right, so that is it. So that is for the rules, and then we validate the request coming in. So whatever the person has entered, this validate sign checks if 
is it really validated so we take the request coming in and then we match it with the rules and see if it's okay is it okay is it validated then if it is then we create a data variable the data variable would request everything everything that the person has sent okay we, we just saved it here yeah? so we just takes in everything that the person has sent and then we just check so data password so now this is like an, an, an array of all the requests that person has sent that is the name email password number and user type and then it checks so password what do you want to do to it so if you want to change it you can change it here so we we just hash it we just hash the password we protect it so we need to import this hash um thing so i had to just copy it come here then so we, we have this hash thing right here all right so we import the hashing thing so this one now protects the password okay and the number the number the number is equal to whatever the person has requested as a number and the user type whatever the person has requested as a user type and then we create the data and then we return user and data that he has created so this is like plain english so we save it and then let's come here and say let's add a user all right so we go to api user so we're adding a user we go to post slash api slash users so we go to api slash users and then we we get what we what we are doing right so api slash users is here so we're gonna we go to the body so i have i think i have some stuff done already so we don't need image we need an um user type even if you don't add a user type you can leave it because it's going to do it automatic for us we have the name and email and then you can do this well, in any password you want, one, it has to be a minimum of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, good. So, and yeah, you can use any more. I'm not doing any validation, no checking or anything. So, that is okay. So, yeah, so when this is done, this is a number you can now click. And we had a mistake. So, what, what was the mistake? So, post API users, blah, blah, blah. Something cannot be now. Integrity cross trend violation column. User type cannot be now. Okay, so it looks like user type cannot be empty. So we have the user type and oh okay, okay, I get it. Mm. So user type default is this, but since it's not nullable, nullable means it can be empty. Alright, so yeah, so we have to add um we have, we have to it has to be filled okay sorry so we have a regular user which is equal to editor so we're just gonna make you an editor for now okay since i'm the admin i'm the only person i'll just i'll just make myself an admin all right so i'll make myself an admin and i create so yeah so that is it so i have everything I have the ID, I have the updated, I created that, I have the user type, number, email, name. So that's our first user. So let's go back to users and let's get the whole user. So we have one user, right, data. So I'm going back and then I'm going to change it to users instead of data. So I come back here and yeah, so we have it. We have everything. So I'm not going to use any environment here. So yeah, so we've done our first part. We've created a user. So to show a single user, that's pretty very simple. So I'm gonna uh, copy the code and just paste it here. So user, and then we call the user model here, and we say find or fail, and we pass in the ID. So that means we're going to pass in an ID in our route, and when it finds it, it just returns out the user that you find. So it's very pretty, very simple. So we go to um, just user here, and then you just let me see the route. Is it users? Okay, it's users. So users slash. I want to find ID one. So with this, let's go add another user, so we can know. So body. We're gonna add another user, and we're gonna call this. Just Charles at Gmail and Charles second. All right, my number is two. 
So this is an editor. Right, and then we just create another user. And we have it here. You can see. So we go to users. And we have two users. So now we can, let's say we are looking for one user. ID one, we get it. We are looking for the one with an ID two. And then we get it. Okay, so that is it for um, show. So the last one is update. You want to update a user. So I'm also going to copy that. That's very uh, that simple um, stuff. So update, copy it, and indent my code. Yeah, so update, we also use the find or fail. You pass in the ID of the user you want to update, and then we find it, and then we validate, and make sure everything you are updating is. We are just validating for the name, whether it's a string, you know, the email should be, you know, it's, um, unique and the password must be also unique. Okay, so if you're updating it, all right, so and then you just call the update function and you pass in all the all that the person has requested and then you retain the updated information. So that is also pretty simple. So we save it and we come here and we go to update. So update is put, you pass in the put and we're updating user number two and we are only updating the email the email used to be child at gmail right so if you come to all users here we're updating id number two and that is email is child at gmail.com so we're gonna just update it into um, charles boom or something like that and we just and there we get it, Charles Bomb at GMO. So let's see if it's changed here. So Charles Bomb at GMO. All right, so that is it. And then we go to delete. That's also very um, simple. So we just copy it. And we come here to destroy. We just paste it. And that just also finds in the user they want to destroy by using find or fail with the ID. And then we just pass the delete function. That's all. The delete method, sorry. And then returns out the user. So that's it. So we come here, we go to delete user. We're deleting the first user. No, the second user. That's an admin. So that is an editor user, the second user. This so this will be no more. So delete user. Let me just and that's all. So we can it shows how the user the user who's been deleted information. So yeah, we can just say uh um, um, success. I don't know, but just return a string. You said deleted. Um, status. No. Status. And I'll just say you said deleted. Oh, see, I was. I was in all that on my, on my second monitor. So we're just going to say um, user deleted. No, no, user just deleted. And I'm going to say status. Crazy. It's just the same code. So I was looking at my other monitor. So we go again. Oh, I forgot we deleted it. So let's add, a, add again. If added again, so we have okay three okay so delete and we go to three. So status user deleted. Uh, yeah, this is better. All right, so so that's it for our um, user model. So I want us to really speed up because I don't really like the um, PHP backend. So yeah, so this is very simple. So we are done with the user model. So in the next video, we'll look at the um, our post model. And then, yeah, so I'll catch you guys in the next video.